everyone, this is Solomon of Solomonic Demons and today we're going to be checking the Ibanez Pentaton. The Ibanez Pentaton is a preamp and distortion pedal that is loaded with a lot of features. This thing have a gate, a pre-boost, a boost and a parametric EQ. This is going to be a long video and I'm going to go straight to the point. What you guys hear on the mix was my Greco Supreme Sound Blaster loaded with a DiMarcio Joy to Plantier on the bridge, a DiMarcio Fortitude. The guitar was connected straight to the Ibanez Pentaton. The Ibanez Pentaton was connected straight to my interface and I was using some IRs from Torpedo while of some cabinets. I wasn't using the pedal in front of any amplifier because like I said, this is a preamp and distortion pedal. And even if we can use the Ibanez Pentaton in front of the clean channel of any amplifier, I think that the best way to show all the features of the Ibanez Pentaton is if you use the pedal either straight to your interface in the effects loop of your amplifier or using the pedal in front of a power amp, especially if you want to take the advantage of the parametric EQ that the pedal has. Okay, so like I said, uh, that's what I'm using and I'm gonna keep recording the same way uh, through the rest of the review of the pedal and at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you my conclusion about the Ibanez Pentaton. So yeah, let's check it out. All right guys, so this guitar is on this standard and before I turn on the pedal, uh, I'm gonna tell you guys what all these knobs and switches does. First, we have a gate. Now, if you want the gate on, you gotta turn on that switch. This gate can be controlled by this knob. You still can cut all the gain when you lower the knob all the way down. But if you just wanna defeat the gain, you can do it with that switch, all right? We have a level, treble, bass, and gain control. Now, this basic EQ can be boosted with a bright switch if you turn it on the right to the right gonna be brighter to the left it's gonna be a little bit darker we have a pre-boost gain this pre-boost gain gotta be switched with this knob over here now the parametric eq have a switch to when you turn it on the right the parametric eq is on when you turn it to the left is off all right now this is a five band parametric EQ, uh, but the cool thing about it is that you control the level of the hertz that you want and the level of the kilohertz that you have. You don't have a fixed uh, rate. You can add more or less hertz or more or less kilohertz, depending where you are in the five band EQ. All right, now the last thing we have a pause boost. Now the pause boost have a dedicated full switch for now. All right, and this is because this might be used if you want to add it on a solo. This is not a game boost, this is just more like a level boost. This will boost the level of the pedal in general, not the game. And at the end, we have the bypass switch. This turn on and off the pedal in general, no matter where you have your switches. If you have the parametric EQ, off, if you have all the switches to the right, once you bypass the pedal, the pedal turns off. All right, so this is how my guitar sounds with the pedal is off. All right, and now we're gonna turn on the pedal. All right, as you guys can see, we have some noise on the back. So the first thing that we're gonna check is the gain. Right, we're gonna try to take out that noise. I'm gonna turn on the gate now, and that's why you have the switch. You guys hear that? As soon as you turn on the switch, even when the level is all the way down, the gate is working already. You have less noise, right? Now we're gonna increase that knob until we remove all that noise that we have in there. a little bit more the level and uh, we're gonna leave it like that I don't want uh, my interface to clip and now we're gonna check the treble the bass and how much of gain we have Thank you. 
switch and we're gonna compare it. a difference it made the pedal overall brighter and now we're gonna check the pre-boost this will boost the gain of your pedal a little bit we're gonna turn it all the way down like we did with the gate So it really boosts the gain. So if you need more gain, you gotta turn on the switch, All right? So. so far, I like it that way. We're gonna leave it that way, and now we're gonna check the pause boost. Okay. And I cannot go all the way up because because the my interface is clipping already and yeah this is just a level boost so this is gonna be very useful on a live situation on a solo. <laughs> Alright, it boosts the level of the pedal. And now we're gonna check uh, the 5 band EQ. Right? We're gonna turn it on. And like I said, the cool thing about this is that you control your uh, the level of the hertz uh, that you want and the level of the kilohertz that you want. So you know are limited uh, to a fixed kilohertz and hertz levels. You can set it up your own way. With the first one, you can go from 30 to 100 uh, hertz. With the second one, you can go to 80 from 85 to 360 hertz. With the third one, you can grow from 200 uh, to 1.30 kilohertz. And with the fourth one, you can grow from 620 hertz 
to 4.0 kilohertz. And with the last one, that's the brighter one, you can go from 1.5 kilohertz to 14.5 kilohertz. And we're gonna leave them all in the middle and we're just gonna check the levels for now, all right? <laughs> set up the EQ to get the same tone that I use on the intro of this video, okay? <laughs>
that will be up to you depending how much low end you want you know it's up to you i like it that way So my conclusion about the Ibanez Pentatone, I think that this might be the most versatile preamp pedal under $300. You guys see the pedal have a lot of features. I like the boost, I like the pre-boost, I like the gate, and I like the parameter EQ. And I like the fact uh, that you can switch off all these features depending what you need and depending the way that you are using the pedal. Like I said, if you turn off the parametric EQ, now you can connect it in front of the clean channel of your amplifier and you're gonna have a great distortion pedal. You guys are already here and saw all the features of the pedal so I don't have anything else to say. This one Solomon from Solomonic Demons. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please share, like and subscribe. Take care, bye.